I'll, I'll call the meeting to order and um, and have everybody go around and just voice uh, that you're here. Um, do you want to go? We could go um, India. Here. David. Here. here. Betsy. Here. Uh, Elizabeth. Here. Janie Wilson. Here. Jane Dabb. Here. Barbara Campbell. Barbara again. I saw oh, Barbara. Here. Was Barbara? She's long oh. gone. She's still back. I think she had a. She might have had some trouble because I saw her face, but I didn't. I, it seemed to freeze up. Hmm. So she'll probably come back. Um, and then John Rushton. I'm here with a new hip. With a new oh, hip. My. Oh, Congratulations. Oh, wow. Okay. Bionic man. Heather <laughs> Levinson, uh, not <laughs> here. Okay. Well, our, isn't our first order of business usually to um, declare the, the minutes and ask for an approval of our minutes from the last meeting? Um, Second. Who was that? Is that India? Janie. Jamie, you move that we approve. Mm -hmm. Do I have a second for approval? I second. second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Should we just do a roll call vote? I think we should. Aye. Um, we could do India. Yeah or no? Oh, India uh, looks looks frozen. frozen. Yeah. Approve. Uh, David. Approve. Betsy. Approve. Elizabeth. Approve. Janie Wilson. Approved. Jane Dabb. Approve. And John Rushton. Approve. Okay. Motion passes. Approved minutes. Um, Kelly, you want to take us through what we're going to accomplish today in, in the meeting? Yeah, um, so we have a few few items. Um, the main the main two would be the memory wall. We just have a recommendation from the group that worked on that, and then the public art plan. I just did a little a little tweaking just to reflect our current reality. Um, and you have what the document looks like, and you have the track news document that underlines and crosses out. Um, and then <laughs> uh, Barbara requested we talk about a, a possible COVID-19 project. Oh, yeah. uh, um, so, but the first item I have on there is the budget. And that was just to give you an update to say that, um, we the public art budget comes out of the oh. occupancy tax All right mm -hmm. for hotel rooms uh okay. which nobody's renting <laughs> so um you know in putting together the budget the city council removed this year's and next year's uh budget for public art um which leaves us about $90,000 remaining until at least the end of, until at least next July. July 2021 is when the next budget year starts. Yeah. Um, so it's still plenty to work with. We still have $50,000 in the, um, in the bank for the fourth street project in front of the grub properties and uh laura white says they're still moving forward uh with their with that building and you know still wants to move forward with the with the art so we still have that project going forward um and then we have the bus shelters um which are in a good good place right now to move forward 
So the next item um, is for this Aratone grant. And I'm hoping Meredith <laughs> can, can unmute and, and give us an update if there is one that occurred over the last half hour since I talked to her. Uh, if not, I will, I will simply say that, oh, hi, Merida. Hi. <laughs> um, so. Has anything happened in the last half hour? No, no. nothing okay. has occurred. Um, recreation has not heard from council members of you, um, nor has anyone in our office. So um, hopefully we'll hear from her and speak with her this afternoon. Okay. Um, so um, Betsy and I and uh, had been working with Council Member Scipio to come up with an idea. Um, it appeared that we had a workable idea for a project to apply for this grant, um, but the council member wanted to concentrate on Bell Park, uh, which is um, not a park that has any bond funding going on right now, which would make it difficult to come up with the, the required match for the project. So she um, said that she would try to try to find a match and reach out to some organizations, uh, but we haven't heard from her and the deadline to get, uh, get an item on the city council committees that would hear this item is today. So we're we're still waiting and hopefully hopefully she'll find that and we'll we will apply for this project. But we don't we don't know. <laughs> That's kind of where we stand now. So beyond that, we you know we don't really have a project a project description just because, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's pretty well up in the air at this point. So Cal Kelly, if we, um, the mm -hmm. last time we spoke, I thought there was the possibility, like we want to get it on the agenda and we want to, um, you know, run it through city council. But I understood last time that it wasn't necessarily oh. imperative to have that happen at this meeting. <laughs> The reason I ask is I do have a meeting scheduled tomorrow with the with the clients of Winston Salem and um, Collidium. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I get. I guess I'm just wondering about proceeding with that. But we'll just wait and hear from um, Council Person Scipio hopefully this afternoon. Yeah, hopefully. Um, I would just to speak up and say. I, I think it does need to go to committee if there's any sort of city match being associated with it. Um, even if it's something that's already budgeted, just to make council aware of it. Um, and so we're, we're very anxiously awaiting, and she's been well aware that it needs to go to committees and council. Um, and knowing that we're not meeting in July, this is, this is the last chance really so for this year. Um, I'll I'll touch base with you after the meeting, Betsy, and let you know if anything anything comes up. But that's kind of where we stand um, today. Gotcha, Kelly. Did you need uh, you you went? I asked you to go through some of these items. Um, is there, are there items like, is the public art plan something that we need, we need our approval, we need to vote on, we need to have a, a longer discussion about? Um, yeah, it is. That and the memory wall are, are and the memory wall. Okay. two things. Um, and I, did you all get the, uh, if, if you want, we can move on to that. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. Um, so the memory wall, we had a working group put together, um, Barbara India, and then uh, Wendy Earl, David Brown, Cliff Dosel, Philip Cohen, Teresa Dow Dennis, Tina Carson Wilkins, and Tom Patterson. And these are all people who 
have who are currently involved with Sika or were involved with the memory wall and that are public art commission members uh, or, or are involved with the transit center. So uh, they all met several times, um, explored different avenues for restoring the wall and then with a couple projects, um, the first would be to request bids um, for restoring the wall. And that would include cleaning the wall, recreating missing sculptures that are, that are on top of the wall or were on top of the wall, uh, changing the contours on the top so that water doesn't collect by either drilling holes in the, in the bird nests, um, or else changing the contour of, of the top, repainting the elements that were originally painted, repairing or replacing some of the vintage hubcaps with like hubcaps, and then replacing the original plaques um, with something more permanent like porcelain or ceramic, and then including an option for an annual maintenance contract. Uh, so we don't have a budget for this. This would just be requesting bids to see how much something like this would cost and then going through the process of, of approving it if there's, if there's somebody who, who can, can do this project um, for a reasonable amount. And then they recommended a second parallel project which would be to add new signage uh, in the style of historic marker that explains the wall's re uh, restoration, Mr. Imagination, um, and, and the memory wall project all together. And then possibly to highlight the five African-Americans associated with the transit center, uh, Clark Campbell, uh, who the center's named after Willie Birch, an artist uh, with two commissions inside the transit center, mm -hmm. Leo Rucker, who's a local artist who did the, the poles, the paint murals on the poles, and then architect Wesley Curtis of Walter Robs, Callahan and Pierce, who were the lead architects on the, on the transit center, and then Mr. Imagination. Um, and then um, Sika has funding that may be able to be used for this. It's, it's, it's restricted to a project that, um, I can't remember the wording that they had for it, but it's restricted funding that could really be used for this project and, and they can't really use for much else. So they might throw in <laughs> for the budget for this. Do we have uh, any idea how much money Sika has? I don't right now, no. Okay. I'm just thinking if the if the uh, bids come back at ten dollars and they have five dollars, I guess we make up the other five dollars. Yeah, that I mean that would be up to you, and then uh, you know depending on how much it is, city council. I mean if it's if it's a really you know if it comes back like oh gosh this is going to cost a hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> then it does then it needs to go to city council. Or even over twenty thousand dollars, actually, I need to go to city council. So, uh, but if it's less than that, then um, it can probably be approved out of the city manager's office. I have a question um, uh, for those of you that are who are on this uh, group. Is the group um, pretty confident that the sculptures that are on top could be uh, refabricated or remade? Um. David, this is Barbara Campbell. Can you hear me? Hi, Barbara. Welcome. Hey, thanks. I had trouble getting on, but I'm here now. Um, I just there are a couple things that I'm on that committee, and a couple of questions I have. Um, I think they did decide that they would be easily replicated, the birds and so forth. But I guess my concern is about that parallel project. And I don't know if we're putting a bid out for just the first part of it, or is that parallel project going to be included in the bid? So that was one question. I thought we said they would be separate. 
Right. right. They would be separate. Okay. And then with that parallel project, there was some discussion about um, adding pieces like memory pieces to that, whatever that sculpture was or whatever. Um, I don't know where we left that. I sort of got the impression they thought that would happen, but am I incorrect? Um, I, I thought we came down on the side that it wouldn't really be workable just because, okay. you know, I the wall, the wall is, is what it is and, and you'd have to take something out of it to add more pieces. So it's most, mostly going to be a marker, a, a historical type marker mm -hmm. or, and information. Okay. I'm okay with that. All right. I just didn't want us to be collecting things from people or whatever, and then, you know, not have room for them. and. I just yeah. thought that was a little, um, there was a lot of discussion about that. Yeah, my, my, my notes uh, say that, I mean, we discussed that, but I don't think, I don't think we came to any kind of conclusion that we, that that was workable. Okay. Okay, are there any other questions about this, this item? No, but I'm glad to see it moving ahead. It's been, it's been some time. Yeah, it's good. Thanks for everybody that's been working on this. I think it's really significant to at least have <clears throat> one major piece in the city by an African American artist. It's not the only one, but you know, it, it's so such a it establishes a, a history, and um, I think that's really important now more than. Now I can see today more than ever that this piece is preserved and really brought to light as well. I agree with that. What's our next step on that, uh, Kelly? What do we need? It would be to uh, make a motion to do, to move forward with a request for um, proposals would be a request for proposals or call, I guess it would be a, to, to move forward with a bid, a bidding and request for proposals. Uh, How for, do we do a bid though, if we have no idea what the funding could be? Um, well, the funding would would come out of the, the public art budget and then, and SICA. Are uh, we gonna cut an amount though or? Um, I thought that if we did, did a bid, it would be, we would include a price in it, or the, the contractor or the artist would include right. their price, so we could, right. or our commission could consider whether okay. uh, whether it was worth it. Yeah. Well, I'll make that motion to to get that bid. And is that for the first project, or the? Do you want to keep them separate? Yeah. I think they should be separate myself okay. just because you don't know the price of anything. If you had a total price on both of them, you could um, um, keep them together. But without pricing, it's probably better to bid them separately. Yeah, yeah I think that's the plan. But we want to vote on them separately as separate items. We can. Okay. So, John. John made a motion to. Um, to put this out to bid for the first, is that for the first, for the, the main body of work yep. and, not, and not the signage? We're gonna do that separately? Right. Okay, right. Do, I have a set, do we have a second for that? Second. Okay, um, so the motion's been made to um, do the restoration, to get a bid for restoration on the memory wall. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do you wanna, can we do it? Uh, by person. Yeah. Yes. So I'll start with David. Yes. Janie. Yes. Elizabeth. Yes. Betsy. Yes. Jane. Yes. John. Yes. Barbara. They lost Barbara. her. Barbara, Barbara you're it? muted. I saw her. I saw her mouth move. Okay. Now say yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then India. Yes. Okay. Okay, the motion passes. Now for the second part of it, which is the signage portion. Um, do I have a motion or for that? Yeah. She's raising her finger. 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's first. A second. From second. Jane. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to vote on the second um, part of that. And uh, Kelly, you can do the okay. roll call. And David. I vote yes. Janie. Yes. Elizabeth. Yes. Betsy. Yes. Jane. Yes. John. Yes. Barbara. Yes. And India. We are muted. Can't see her either, so we might have lost her. We might have lost India on that one. It, she had a young one that was scooting around. <laughs> that you may need to pay attention to more <laughs> than us right now. Okay, we're still good. That's that's good. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so that would bring us to the public art plan. And after last month's conversation, I just I threw in a few updates that reflected um, the current state of the economy. Um, you know, added language like prior to the coronavirus pandemic and things like that. Um, and then there's not. There's no substantive changes. Uh, it's just reflecting the coronavirus. But then in the implementation table, it, I just thought maybe you'd want to discuss the timing um, for uh, going to city council and the board of Com county commissioners and asking for public art funding and percent for art. It was originally an immediate goal. And immediate means within one to two years. Um, but then I thought maybe you'd, you'd want to consider short range, uh, which would bring it out three to five years. Um, obviously, none of us knows what's going to happen. <laughs> so um, I'm just bringing it up as, a, as just a point of conversation. Um, and you know, it's your recommendation. What what page is that on, Kelly? The implementation table is on page twenty-two of the marked up document. Would it help if I brought them up on screen? Oh. All right. All right. Let's, Got it. let's try to put my glasses over my glasses. Uh-uh. Pretty bad. Uh, 22. It would help me, Kelly, but if it's a pain in the butt, don't worry about it. I can pull it up on my phone. There's a screen share. Okay. Everybody see this? Yep. Kelly, can I can I ask you what normally would be when when we vote on this, like what is the process then? How does this go public? What is the what is the rollout of our plan after this? What's the plan for the plan? In other words, so I would recommend that um, you make any changes or edits to it today that you want, and then do um, do some kind of online um, public input mm -hmm. session um, where we disseminate the document, put it out there for the public to read and comment on, collect comments over the next couple months, and then have, um, have a meeting uh, where people would be invited to, for public comment at the meeting on the public art plan. And then, um, you know, make any changes if needed based on that. And then it would go from there to city council and the county commissioners. So it's four to six months. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
I mean, it's very difficult to see how a lot of public engagement can be done with it um, in person in the in that time frame, right? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't know. Uh, we're not really having big public meetings like that, so. And uh, so when would it be, when would the ideal, not the ideal, when would is it planned to be given to city council and for some of the- May. <laughs> that was the, the plan. The plan was to have this go, um, yeah, have this go to the Public Art Commission in April and then uh, go to city council in May, just so that they could consider these things in their budget and then uh but that didn't happen <laughs> for obvious reasons right right so that seems to me like a maybe would it, the plan b be a fall rollout for this potentially gathering information in late summer and early fall and then rolling it out in october um was that too soon or september or september yeah because we could put it online, we could attach a survey to it. We can, um, you know, gather gather comments that way. It could be, you know, it could be out in the public realm for six weeks or something like that, and then you would have comments um, going into the September meeting, and then uh, could adopt it then with any changes that you felt it needed. That sounds good. I think we would want, I mean, we have a number of um, organizations that were involved with and partnered with and have done things with that should, um, we should present it to them and weigh in with them. Those are, you know, stakeholders that we need to really engage with this and get them on board with it. Mm -hmm. and have them understand what we're you know what we're what we're looking for and i think by the way let me just say kelly thank you for let me just say thanks for all the work that you've done on this because sure i read through it um and it it reads very well it's very fluid there there are it's it's really comprehensive i think and um so my my hat is off to you on on that. Thanks. Yeah, I agree. It's great. It's great work. Thank you. Um, you know, when you mention bringing this to different organizations, um, you know, maybe maybe it would be good to go even another month. You know, instead of trying to trying to do this in six weeks, do it in ten weeks or something like that, and really try and get it in the hands of. You know, just because things things are going a little slower now, and then that might, by the time it gets out of that process, we might have a better idea of where things stand in the world, and we can make a timing decision on on when to go to city council and the county commissioners, just with more, you know, have, by having more information based on um, based on that process. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. I think it's, I think it's great. We will get a lot of feedback digitally, but there are some significant chunks of population that we might miss um, having that digital feedback. Mm -hmm. um, and if we share with partners from the past and partners that we hope to work with, um, they can be really helpful in broadening the reach of feedback on this. Um, so I do, I do think a little bit longer timeline makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just from my point of view, how are we as far as the next, you know, year, year and a half, like right now, you know, if we have no new funding coming in, Kelly, where do you, I mean, where do we stand? Let's just say, because who knows, I'm starting to think things are going to be pushed out and out and out. They had, they had 163 new cases of coronavirus in one day yesterday, overnight, Forsyth County, for instance. So, 
So who knows how things are going to be pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed. Um, and we're not in a situation where there's need to be emergency funds or we need to completely change the way we're thinking or anything like that. I mean, how, how do you feel we stand like right now as far as the next year, year and a half? Well, I mean, we have $90,000. We have two, we have, we have one project that's, that's moving forward, which is the fourth street project. Uh, in front of the Grub Properties Building, that's worth. That's a fifty thousand dollar project, which is not in. You know, that's already taken out of this this budget. This budget is, you know, unaccounted for. So we'll also we'll have the Memory Wall project. I'm kind of hopeful that that is an inexpensive project, especially when the Sika funds come in. And then, you know, we could do. Um, you know, the artistic bus shelters are 12 pieces of art and, you know, the whole project um, was $20,000. Mm -hmm. yeah, could do another round of those and still have plenty, plenty of funding to work with, possibly apply for some grants. I mean, it could really uh, make this last. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Good. And then there's, you know, there's still the possibility of Marshall Park happening. I, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what the timeline is for that, if anybody knows, but, um, you know, that'll, that's another project that's out there um, that could, you know, find an artist. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are there other questions and discussion about the plan? Um, Kelly, did you need an answer for what to fill in for the timing on these two, the first two goals? Um, you want our advice? Yeah, if you, I mean, I think, I think you, you know, it's something that you could think about and decide on after, after the public comment period, or you could say, oh, I think we really need to, Push this off, or I think we really need to. I think we really mm. need to do this now. I mean, it's. Um, I, don't, I don't. It's not an answer I need. I need today. Okay. Um, but if there were any edits that you thought, you know, in these these red line edits that didn't that didn't fit or were worded clunky or or anything. Um, let me know. And so Kelly, you, you said for immediate goals, that was like within a year. About and one to two years, yeah. One to two years. And what, what do you, what does short range indicate? Three to five. Hmm. I mean, one to two years after adoption, you know, if we're talking about adopting it in the fall, you know, you're talking about late 2022, to go and to go and ask for ask for these things, and it, you know, a percent for our ordinance, you know, it it could it could relate only to bond projects. So you know, they, you know, it wouldn't surprise anybody. It wouldn't say, oh gosh, this puts a real constraint on our on our budget. It would be, well, we adopted percent for art, so when we do these projects, we have to consider when we're going. When we're bringing the bonds to the public to vote on, we have to consider that it would include include this funding on parks projects and streetscape projects and things like that. So it shouldn't necessarily surprise anybody or or constrain constrain the budget since it's voted on by the public every single time. And then, but the you know the other budget, um, you know, where we have the fifty five thousand now. You know that right now depends on occupancy tax, and mm -hmm. nobody knows what's going to happen with that. <laughs> yep. All right. Hmm. Is there any further discussion? Any other? I can't see everybody on my. Maybe I better. Look at every, see if I can see everybody on the screen here. Whoa. Okay. 
Well, when, if Kelly takes a document off, it'll, it'll probably go and pop up. Yeah, are you, does anybody need to see the document anymore? No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We're good. Okay. So um, we can um, maybe, if there's no more discussion, we could um, make a motion to approve of this uh, public art plan as it is right now, knowing that there are gonna be changes to it down the line, right? Yeah, it would just be voting to uh, adopt it, roll out this public art flow. Well, not to adopt it, but to bring it out to the public. Mm -hmm. um, and do you want to do you want to say for a ten week public uh, public comment period? It just sounds like such a long time to me. I, I don't have any experience in this kind of thing, so but I, it just sounds well. The reason I was thinking 10 weeks might be because, you know, we want to bring this to, um, you know, the Arts Council Board, um, Creative Corridors, uh, you know, lots of different boards and boards uh, mm -hmm. of different arts organizations. And they might not be meeting right now, or they might be, it might take a while for them to get something on their agenda or something like that. So I wanted to kind of give them a little time to do that in a more official capacity since, since it's kind of hard to get to have a public meeting now and just invite people there and say, this is when we're having our discussion. Um, right. That's that's more why I was thinking that. Okay. I'm fine with it. Yeah, ten, so 10 weeks. Um, takes us into closer into the fall. Yeah, the last 10 weeks have gone by like 10 minutes. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. Well, um, do I have a motion to, um, do I hear a motion to um, approve of this uh, plan? Make that, uh, I'll make that motion. Okay. So it would be, but it would be to to so to take Maybe. the take the plan in Make this public state to yes yeah. Right. Second. second. Somebody second. I'll second if nobody okay. else has. It. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kelly. Okay, David. Yes. Janie. Yes. Elizabeth. Yes. Betsy. Yes. Jane. Yes. John. Yes. Barbara. Yes. India. India. She can't hear us. India, can you hear us? I can hear, I can hear you. You can't hear me. Okay, yeah, we can hear you. Now you're moving. Oh, yeah. I approve. Okay. All right, very good. Um, so project reports here, I'm gonna do another share screen. I'm gonna show you some pictures I took last, last Friday at the farmer's market. Oh, wow. so he's not quite done yet, but He's closing in. He'll probably oh, be done in a week. So this is the accent wall. And then cool. Wow. <clears throat> Great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very nice. And then yeah, I'm, I'm, and then you can Wow, yeah. Gosh, nice detail. That eggplant really looks like an eggplant. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's really That's great. the sheen of an eggplant. <laughs> so he's filling in some more detail this week and he's gonna put the clear coat on and mm -hmm. uh, 
I talked to the marketing department and they said, um, you know, they're not really, we're not really doing events yet, uh, but maybe we could do like Facebook live <laughs> unveiling or something like that. So. Cool. Nice. Is the market going to be, is the market open? The, the market is open. They're doing it in the parking lot with okay. the booths separated. Yeah. Get what the, about news co a news coverage? You know, um, the journal, the journal had contacted me and they have his number and I was under the impression that they were going out there. Maybe they're going to do like a photo package of it mm. under, you know. It'd be nice to have something besides COVID-19 on the news once in a while. It would. <laughs> Um, We'd also talked about maybe um, putting up a the uh, the Public Art Commission's logo and just note what the work was. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about that with the with the otter that you don't get close to, but with this project, you can you know you walk right up to it. Is that mm -hmm. something we want to consider? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great yep. idea. Yeah. Would there otherwise not be any information at the site? Right. Yeah, that's important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great we had idea. a. Go ahead, Janie. No, I just said Betsy. That's a great idea. Thank you. No, we had discussed this in some committee. I know about making sure um, pieces of art that the commission had put money into would be somewhere acknowledged or put into a plaque or something. Wouldn't that also be for the bus shelters then? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we talked, I think it was that we talked about mm -hmm, as well. Yeah, I'll look into doing some signage mm -hmm. for, for this, for, for these, since it's two of them. Yeah. Does Hieronymus have his name on that somewhere? I'm not sure. Hmm. Maybe not yet. His name ought to be on. It's okay with me if his name is on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think he'll have any problem signing his name to it. Okay. Uh, he'll probably sign it by the end. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, good, good. And then the artistic bus shelters, um, they're in within budget so far, so far so good. Um, I had to get a different, a different quote from, from the printer, the vinyl printer, uh, because some of the shelters are the new type, you know, with the silver with the three glass panels. Uh, so they're a little bigger, but we're still within budget. And then the Maya Angelou estate, um, we have to ask their permission to use her likeness. Um, you might remember that we had to pay them for that piece in the Benton. Um, okay. So we're going to be doing the same, but for 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 a little less this time. <laughs> for this one, I think mm -hmm. we got away with the minimum fee of two hundred fifty dollars. Uh, yeah. Since it's a uh, mm. temporary project, mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's it for that. Mm. And then the R turn grant, that's a mistake mm. <laughs> on the project reports. So. Was that it on the project reports? Yep, that was it. So uh, Marshall Park is, um, that's just down the road somewhere. Down the road. Okay. I don't know how far down the road. Okay. Do, we, do you ever have a conversation with any of the stakeholders about that or not? Uh, John Marshall um, reached out in, in March um, and just said, just say, hey, and, you know, 
you'd like to be included in the conversations. Um, but that's all I've heard. Kelly, I'll see what kind of update I can get for this group for next meeting. For okay. next meeting. I Thank think um, Evan, a coworker in my office, has had a couple updates on at least the status of the overarching project, and that would give us an idea of just where we stand as well. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, and then other business, um, Barbara um, wanted to discuss a possible COVID-19 project. I just thought that since um, there have been projects within the city, like Mask the City and some of the other things, that it would be interesting. And we talked about the city as a museum. I think Betsy's mentioned that. That wouldn't it be interesting to some way document what's happening with the piece of art, public art. So I just thought that it might be something to consider. I know there have been a few things going on around town, but um, I think it would be interesting to do something. And possibly make you know put out a proposal to, uh, with a limited budget to do something. That was just a thought. Yeah. So Kelly, you um, this is a slight sidetrack. I'll tie it back in again. We had talked with Philip Summers about um, exhibiting the the bus shelter applications somehow publicly, and um, I. I you know, I don't know whether we want to act quickly on a, a work of pu permanent public art for COVID-19. I, I like the idea. Um, I haven't thought about it, but I'm just also wondering about some kind of sharing of artwork that people are making in response. Um, hmm. our, you know, our students at School of the Arts have been making some extraordinary short films and, um, and photographs, and right now our protests downtown, um, you know, aren't always directly related but it does say so much about um just the lived experience of people during COVID-19 that we are protesting and we are protesting with masks and with all kinds of efforts to care for each other and I, I, I just I, my first thought is not of a work of art but of some kind of public um museum or public uh gallery um that might be digital or it might be some other one. People are making beautiful photographs downtown um, of the protests and we're losing, we're losing our citizens. There could be some memorials or some kind of photograph or um, marker of, of loss or of hope or I saw that Owen Daniels was doing masks, and I was really intrigued by that. Um, that, along with the Mask the City project, as being really kind of a public art project, because it has the potential to get spread and, in some way, you know, um, define the city in, in a in a way too. So um, I don't know if there's a way that 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 could be, that we can help that along, that we could, you know, incorporate that or that we could pr promote that whole idea. But um, the idea of having artists make masks, you know, is pretty, might be, might be something that is worth exploring for this. I thought that Barbara, that was sort of one of the things that you had picked up on to you know, yeah, I just, yeah, I, did, I had sent that article out about Owen Daniels. I just think that, um, I think it was mentioned that when there have been other pandemic, well, like the Spanish flu, things like that, um, that there hasn't always been documentation to go back and look at. I just think it would be nice to have some historical documentation of what's going on right now that would be in some way lasting. Uh, and I, and, but I like the idea. I mean, I like Betsy's idea of, of you know, having a number of different projects. I just wonder how, what the longevity of that would be, but yeah. Well, would it make sense for us to try to partner with other organizations um, in the city to do something that would be 
um, where people could file through and it would be a kind of a gallery sort of situation. Um, not only, I mean, along with, of course, being online, but um, could it be, uh, could we lend our, you know, our weight and maybe some leadership to having a number of groups in the fall, you know, collect documents, collect artworks, and then make something that is um, happening very kind of spontaneously almost throughout the city. I mean, that sounds like a tall order, um, but um, I don't think this is something that we alone could really do necessarily or would want to do by ourselves, but along with some of the other arts organizations that um, really be possible and maybe we could help. Yeah, I mean, I really love to see us take the lead on something. I think all of you guys, excellent ideas. It's an absolutely historic time, yeah. for, you know, and um, artists are going to bring us all out of this like they always do in the past. You know, art is going to lead the way. And I think if we could really be the people that maybe make that happen or or the, or the leaders of a group of people that make something. I, I agree with Barbara. I think something that's, you know, th th this is as big as any war or, you know, stock market crash or anything. This is going to be something in a hundred years from now, people talk about, um, you know, loss of life, loss of hope. There's a lot going on right now. And, uh, I, you know, we're, we're still in the middle of it. Who knows how long it's going to last the pandemic part of it. Um, I saw, I mean, so, I don't know if you guys saw the journal pictures of the protesters uh, yesterday. There were some extraordinary images. Uh, the young people laying down, face down with their hands behind their back, the shadows of that. It was an incredible picture. I can't, I don't know who took it. I don't know if I ever saw who took it. I don't think it was Owens, but- um, Andrew died. It was, it was fantastic. I mean, I, you know, it should have been national. Um, but anyway, I would love, as an artist, I would love to see us uh, in the few little bit of time that we have together as a group to 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 take the lead on something like this. Because I really do think that when we're all gone, it's still going to be something that's um, that's huge, you know, a big part of history. And and, and in that regard, I think something permanent makes more sense, you know, something. That's there. The other thing is, I really think it should be something that as many people as possible get exposure to. I think, you know, putting things in a gallery. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Barbara, you're afraid. Uh -oh. Barbara can't hear us. Oh, my. While we're waiting on Barbara to come back, what about uh, the new Winston Museum as being one of our partners in this project? Yeah, that's a, that's a possibility. Is everybody froze? <laughs> okay, <laughs> nobody was moving there for a moment. <laughs> you know, no, it was like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I would just wonder, like, if if for example, if the convention center isn't going to have any conventions in the next six months, um, and maybe that's an, maybe that's bad for me to say that. <laughs> But that is the kind of space that you could file people that that you could do a, sh a bit really big show. You could do mm -hmm. a show in that space, an art show, and okay. really call attention to this time by having that having that kind of an exhibition. Now, I'm talking about something that's temporary, and this is just in regard to your comments, John, because I think that doing permanent things at this point may be pretty challenging. I think we're going to need a little bit more time, but I, I'm thinking, I'm talking about something that would be, um, you know, within the next year and, and be organized by a group of people. I know it's, it's, I mean, it's pretty difficult to do things like that. And, uh, but it doesn't, it ha doesn't necessarily have to be, permanent or really, really high quality, I think it's more important to have it be so that it's very accessible to people. And then therefore it could pro it probably should be online as well. Yeah, that's everything I'm 
involved with right now is going virtual. I mean, even to the point we're trying to do virtual craft shows online. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of um, people worried that this is going to continue for another year. So, yeah. And yeah. I was going to say that, I mean, I was thinking, I recently did a talk with uh, UNCG's MFA students. And what I found is that for many artists and even students, it's very difficult to make work right now, right? And um, many artists are, it's, it's just hard to be motivated to do those things. And so uh, I was thinking maybe, I think what a lot of artists need when we have these kind of Zoom conversations and institutions, is some kind of like inspirational, kind of what, what Betsy was saying, some kind of inspirational, it could be a forum um, or some kind of, uh, like large critique or something where people can kind of share like a platform for them to share what they're going through it doesn't necessarily have to be in the form of like a painting or a photograph it could be spoken word it could be you know you know just a way for artists to have a kind of collective experience and i mm -hmm. think that maybe that might be something we can kind of spearhead mm -hmm. this kind of collective experience where anybody can, i mean I was on a Zoom call and it was 500 people from all over the world, right? So like, <laughs> if a Zoom can do a 500 people yeah, call from people all over the world, right? Uh, I think we could spearhead some kind of conference call or some kind of large forum where people in North Carolina or people, local people can kind of come together and shit. And it could be moderated by someone, you know, and it is open. So I don't know, I, like after talking to the students at UNCG, I just found like a lot of people, uh, it's just hard to even move forward each day, you know, uh, for people who are like losing loved ones, you know, it's just, not, I, I think maybe it's not about making something, but more about making connections with each mm -hmm. other while right. we kind of go through all these different things. There's so many things happening, right? Um, so right. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. good. I mean, it's a weird time. I hated being, you know, just, and I had it easy compared to what other people were just being in the hospital and nobody getting to be there with me or visit or, I mean, it was really weird. And that's just a small, you know, there are a lot of people that can't even, well, you've heard all the stories, so I don't need to repeat them, but um, it's, it's an interesting time for sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure like India, I can't imagine that there are a lot of artists just really isolated and, broke and you know can't yes. get canvas can't, can't, get, paint. Uh, can't get materials yeah yeah i mean it's it's incredible but i think i think you can i mean there are a lot of institutions too that are struggling um across the country across the world and so i think that we can I mean, I think we have the capability to spearhead some kind of you know opportunity community engagement with you know, institutions can kind of come together like a collective you know, something that can kind of um, bring some hope. Yeah, I could see this. I could see this. Mm -hmm. um, so there's the idea that you're having a, a something that's an online share. Yeah, like an online share, like a call call it that for time being. A large one, yeah. Yeah, large audience, online share. Um I could imagine there being some some question like um what image gives you hope or what um you know what action is sustaining yeah. you. I, you know, I don't I don't know what it would be, but some you know, some kind of frame or um just a you know a concept that people respond to with a cake or with a you know with a gesture or with a t-shirt or like like some question that could generate um making or just like image capturing not necessarily something as formal as a work of art but an expression of some kind that then is shared um in the forum I mean, you know, like uh, the national, this is just a thought, I could be totally wrong, <laughs> but like the National Theater Festival, when they have their uh, spoken word thing, and it's like, I don't know, 200 people, what they do is they have this large pot that you put your name in, 
And so they're just randomly selecting people for like two hours and each person can kind of, and once your name is selected, it's your turn to say something. And so let's say if we had like 300 people on this large Zoom platform, you know, they will submit their names and each person would get, I don't know, 10 minutes to say, you know, they're, you know, I mean, it would just be kind of we had to find how to kind of like, um, I guess, logistics on how to make it work. I don't know. I know the National Black Theater Festival does that large pot of names and calls folks and gives people opportunities to share their thoughts. It could be a, it could be something as simple as that. It doesn't have yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. Jane's point about the uh, about Muse Winston Salem, they were working with uh, Larry the poet, who also does a, who does spoken word and um, coordinates a lot of kind of moth-like events for spoken word. They started that program at Muse Winston Salem um, in the spring, I think, in January, and then I guess that's ended. It would be. It seems like tying that together mm -hmm. with. The idea that um, that India is sharing could be a good collaborator. Mm -hmm. We could even get a celebrity. I mean, everybody's at home right now, so you know, some people, you know, everybody's available. You know, like so we right. could even get somebody to like moderate this thing. You know, for us that's who's like maybe well known because uh, they're at home, right? And uh, they could moderate this kind of, you know, to bring more awareness. I mean, I just saw Alicia Keys do a commencement speech. She's clearly at her house, you know? <laughs> right. Right. Everybody's right. available, you know? <laughs> Everybody's at home and available and and probably eager to share some of that thing. We all, we all exactly. curate our little spaces, you know? It's just interesting to look and look around and see. Yeah. So um, there's something in that. Now, what about this? I mean, I think it's got the real potential to, you know, communicate. If this is a in a big online Zoom meeting, if it was just if it was, for instance, not only not limited to artists in our area, but it had that focus, um, mm -hmm. that would be something that would be, you know, really an interesting thing to do. It hasn't ever been done before, right? Very cool. I mean, we all have our little, we all have our, in Winston-Salem, we all have our little groups of art, of just of artists, you know, based around different institutions. But wouldn't it be great to have sort of a town hall meeting of people sharing their work and sharing their ideas from just from our, from Forsyth County, from Winston-Salem? Um, yeah. Mm hmm Absolutely. I Would mean, it be I'm, boring? That's what I want to know. <laughs> you know, um, have, have you guys seen, and this is, I hate to say, a Facebook thing, but have you guys seen the view from my window thing that's on Facebook? Mm -hmm. that everyone's saying no. Um, it's, it's, and I don't know any, I don't know how it functions, but if you look on Facebook view from my window, and it's like everyone during this pandemic has taken a picture uh, out their window. And it's an incredible thing. And it's worldwide. You obviously need to, what you're talking about is Forsyth County and Winston-Salem. Mm -hmm. It'd be a whole lot smaller. But it's actually, it's, it's kind of a movable thing. And it could um, hmm. last as long as you want it to last. Again, I don't know how this this group stuff works on Facebook. I don't know anything about it, but it seems like if it's a if it's a giant Zoom meeting, don't you? Who is that little India? Oh, there's little someone over there. Um, <laughs> oh, touch this, mommy. Can I touch this button? No. <laughs> um, it seems like you. Everyone would have to like show up at the same time if it's a giant zoom meeting and this view from my window is is kind of always there and it, you can tell when some when the moderator loads up a bunch of pictures because they all show up all on the same time but wow. it's a it's and it's you know people are saying you know, where they are and where everybody else is who's looking at them it's it's a very it's a very interesting concept that kind of sounds like what you're talking about here it's it's uh but it's a yeah. facebook platform thing hmm. 
I, I don't know. I don't know how to do what you guys were talking about, and I don't know how to do this Facebook thing. But <laughs> so I'm not very helpful in that regard. But it it is there. There, it's a great the Winston Salem for Scythe County concept is a great concept. Mm -hmm. um, the view from my window is a is a way that they've done that same sort of thing already. You know, yeah. a it's a COVID nineteen, but it's a that's kind of what they've been doing. And they're just they're still pictures. They're not videos. Um, and I. I don't know who the moderator is. I don't know anything about it, but it's 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 a it's a fascinating project that's ongoing in that thing. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, one of the great things about all the Zoom stuff that's going on is people are you know pretty good with it, you know, pretty quickly, <laughs> and uh, you know, are picking it up and they're used to it and it's accessible. I mean, we have a trivia group we play twice a week, and we have got one guy who's in Tulsa, one guy's in. Tallahassee, you know, one guy's in Dallas and, you know, everybody just, it's just really very, it's amazing how easy it is to get something like that together. Oh, right. Probably for the first time in history, I guess, you know, it's never been this easy to get people from all over where, however big you want to have it, somebody hmm. can be on from London just as easy, you know, so right. hmm. it would be cool to get an artist group like that. India, you were talking about the something that was 500 people on zoom what was what was that uh it was uh it was curators and directors all over the world and we were just kind of talking about the state of art and what um what as institutions how are we managing like how are institutions managing how are they moving forward and so it was uh about 500 people the first time uh, they didn't have an, they, Zoom didn't have enough room for everybody, so they, it was only a hundred. And then the second time they do it, maybe twice a month. So they've done it twice a month since like March. Mm -hmm. And and it's always a different person kind of leading the conversation. Usually someone really higher up in art, and they lead the conversation. And you can ask as many questions, you know, people are asking questions. But there's about five hundred people on the call from all over the world, right? And um, Mm. Just talking about well what is art right now and how do we move forward and so really getting those bigger institutions um how do you help smaller institutions how do we collaborate more things like that you know how do you uh you know motivate your staff that may not feel you know inspired to be where they are you know how do you get more lean than you already are you know so those kind of conversations mm. which literally they organized it in like a week you yeah. know like everybody's kind of desperate to have these kind of conversations so it's not going to take a whole lot of effort to get people to join it right yeah um, i think we could easily do it i mean they did 500 folks in a week i think we could you know <laughs> we, could, we could make that happen um and, and it could it could be local it doesn't have to be but be open to anybody but we could target local folks or people in north carolina who just want to have a conversation with one another mm. I know that the Hispanic League did a, has been doing a series of lectures or discussions online. Their first one had like 26 people. Within the, a month, it went over 120 some people. So, you know, because people are desperate for information depending on the topic. And I think our artists in the area would, would engage with us on this easily. And it sounds like it, what Jane and, and India are talking about with these ongoing monthly meetings, it does need to be ongoing because you're going to miss it the first time. Mm -hmm. right. I, I agree. It doesn't, I mean, we could do it, I mean, they do it twice a month, twice a month, but ours doesn't have to be that frequent, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not once a week, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, would it make sense to try to gather a group of people that are um, in our in our area that would be people that are involved with especially visual arts, but not only exclusively visual arts, also spoken word and a range of people and get them together in a Zoom meeting to explore this possibility to yeah. say to everybody, look, we've got this idea that we want to do this big thing here in Winston-Salem. It may only happen one time, we may make it repeat, but we'd like to get these 
some folks together who kind of know what they're talking about. <laughs> Maybe I mean I don't feel like I really know what I'm talking about. I've been to big Zoom meetings, but but it doesn't feel too interactive to me. So um, I think that would be a step that we could take as an intermediate step to try to plan something like this and get people, other people involved other than public art group. Um, how does that sound as a way to step forward on this idea? At least a tiptoe forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be on a Zoom uh, meeting tonight with the APHIS board. I could easily, if it, if you guys want me to bring something like that up and just say, you know, would people be interested? It's a pretty big group of people. There'll probably be about 40 uh, Salem artists and those types, you know, on the call, you know, to, to get to see sure. if there's any interest, to see how they feel about it. I'd be glad to do that, just to bring it up. Sure. I, I mean, I'm willing to, um, because of my institutional Zoom, I'm able to make these large, as far as I know, large and long meetings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very willing to be the host for it. Um, oh. And if I could get, um, mm -hmm. if we could get everybody to chip in the names of people and organizations that should be involved. And then have everybody make calls and and get uh, get a number of people involved and then have this meeting. I mean that doesn't okay. sound very organized the way I'm proposing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud. Cool. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe you should refresh uh, Barbara on what all we've gone through since she left us and came back too. Um, she, and Barbara, Barbara, you're saying mute. Yeah, there okay. you go. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. I lost the connection, but um, yes, that would be good. And I was also thinking to what they were saying, something could be put together in a writing in an email that we could share, just make sure we're all on the same page. Right. Um, I'm working some with the Arts Council now. I could talk to those folks, the artists there. But. Good. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot. Yes, if you could fill me in, I'd love it. <laughs> yeah, I think it could be as easy as just saying, uh, you know, us deciding uh, a night we're going to do it, for instance. Let's say, you know, June 15th at 8 o'clock, we're going to have this discussion about the arts in Winston-Salem, Forsyth County, and then sending and then telling groups and, you know, saying we're going to do that. And then as our first one, just see how that works, how many people, you know, what kind of response we get from sending out emails and contacting groups and, uh, and you know, plan a discussion, maybe like India said, the state of the arts in Winston-Salem, uh, for South County or whatever, and just start with that and see how it goes. Do you, do you feel like it's worth making a proposal for the what the actual artists would be discussing proposing showing um if we i mean this is this is a our first meeting would be to discuss and organize having this let's just call it, i don't know what to call it an arts festival on zoom online you know i don't i don't know what to call it but it could be talking about talking about why you can't work talking about the state of the arts but it could also be um singing a song or or reciting poetry or doing doing something else as well um a pretty open kind of forum that might be but but we need ideas for organizing it that are going to be um based on some experience in doing this kind of a live show i think it, I mean, that's that's going for the live show idea versus the repository of photographs that uh, is available at all times. And it seems to me that that's something that's valuable. But this live idea is something it, it is it's very different. Um, mm -hmm. So, I mean, if we could come up with sort of a I mean, I think we can get a group of people together to talk about this idea, but I think we have to have the idea 
at least in a in a verbal form or in a in a form that we can write down and say this is what we'd like to do would you like to come together to discuss this idea the idea is to have uh, an express in really kind of a, an expressive moment where people would be free to express themselves for a certain amount of time or by lottery or I, I don't know does anybody have any ideas about that feedback for that i think you're right david that we've got to have somebody that really knows how to organize this <coughs> facilitate it manage it i mean it, it's almost it could be a almost full-time job for several days just to kind of get something going i can reach out to if you want i can reach out to the people who organize the oh, can you hear me yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. I can reach out to the um, the women who organized that 500 person um, directors call every two weeks, and just kind of ask how they how they organized it, how they kind of put it together. You know, I mean, I, it'll definitely take some brainstorming and thinking about how to kind of facilitate it so it doesn't become you know, like they like they mute everybody right. in the call. And you don't talk until you're like they. You'll be unmuted, right? So you can't just start talking whenever you feel like it. You know, yeah. there's like a, there's like there's like yeah. a process and respect for the person who's talking, and you know. And then if you cut, you know, they'll cut you off and unmute you, you know, and mute you back up. So right. so you lose the certain controls. Like it's not like just open and free. Um, but uh, I actually right. have to go feed my kids. So. Okay. <laughs> we understand it. I tell you, let me just let me say, let me um say I'm gonna send you all an email or I'll send it to Kelly and he'll send it to you. Um an email trying to sum up this and trying to put together the language for what ultimately we would like to have happen as this quote unquote public art piece that we're gonna do. <laughs> mm -hmm and and sort of the organization stage and then number two the actual thing does that sound like a a, a way to start it out good start mm -hmm. yeah yes because we, yeah we just this is our original discussion about it so yeah that sounds this good. Been a good this is a good discussion the only person that hasn't said boo is kelly it's kelly <laughs> <laughs> i noticed that did you notice i'm that? just waiting i'm waiting for you to Hash it out. Light it. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know what you want me to do. <laughs> Kelly's like, all of a sudden they came up with this other public art project. <laughs> Kelly, were there any other items on our agenda that we need to close? Uh, um, no, there's just the public comment period. I don't see anybody waiting to get in. Mm. Um, Look so, at <laughs> so let's go back and talk about where where you're landing on this uh, COVID-19 project. It's a, it's a state of the arts Zoom discussion. Am I getting that right? David's going to send you an email that okay. lines all that out. So we have two. So India is going to um, talk to um, the people on this director's call to to hear about some of the mechanics of doing such a large Zoom um, performance piece. I don't know what to call it. Um, <laughs> cool. And I mean, I think we want to focus it on the arts and and mm -hmm. um, make it inclusive as we can uh, to the area. That's how I'm gonna initially phrase it and just say that um, um, we wanna have a, initially a discussion with a lot of leaders in the arts from from our, count, our county um, or the area um, and then try to go forward with making, with using that to make a plan. We'll see. Bye India. I know. I know. We've all been there. I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. See ya. See Bye. ya. I know. Well, yeah, and 
I, I just like to go, say again that I think we need to, whatever we decide to do is kind of take the lead on it because something like this can languish and everybody giving their point of view and five months from now, yeah. we're still not even doing it, you know. Right. Um, you kind of catch the iron while it's hot. It sounds like a great idea. And if we can just decide the way we want to do it and then tell people we're doing it, you know, like we're, yeah. we're taking the lead on this. Please join us and mm -hmm. doing it our thing. Yeah. Well, I think that the getting in touch with other um, arts organizations is so important because they're the ones that have the, that know who the people are that are going to sign people up for it. So we, we, well, don't, yeah. we don't kind of have the grassroots uh, ability to, to, we don't have the mailing lists. We don't have, we, we don't have that. Um, but yeah, others well, do. Don't we have a lot of locals in our database, Kelly? We have, we have some, I mean, we're not okay. parents council. <laughs> well, we, we got, uh, we probably have more visual artists than performing or musical, you know, yeah. any of those. Yeah. But, I mean, a great example would be like our bus uh, station meeting we had for the bus uh, shelters. Mm -hmm. That would have been an excellent zoom meeting. All those people in that room talking about their ideas and stuff you know, different thing than what we're talking about now, but, but just even that group would be, would have been a, a wonderful. Yeah, I, I have most of their contact in the. Yeah. Well, I, I, I do think that, that hearing about that, for instance, gives me the idea that if you had a person that would curate the meeting, that yeah. would, that everybody who wanted to be in the meeting and share would have a certain amount of time and they'd make a proposal. I'm going to talk about my bus shelter. I'm going to do a dance. I'm going to do this so that the per the curator would be able to just select through people. And um, I mean, if it could take a long, long time, if everybody were, if, there, if you had, yeah. you know, 50 people or a hundred people, it might take a long, long time to go through it. I'm not exactly sure what the constraints are at this point mm -hmm. but it's right. something to explore because it could be quite interesting and exciting i i agree and at some point i'm not sure who made the suggestion that maybe the first meeting is a sort of what what is this group and what is useful and valuable because i feel like i've heard like what are the challenges facing artists right now i've heard it's a performance opportunity and i've heard it's an opportunity to make work in response to a challenge yeah. you know mm -hmm. to, to to share and retain that work in some way and so you know it, maybe we need to know a little bit more about what would be most useful to people um yeah and and to gather some others uh, mm -hmm. yeah in the conversation and if you got if you guys want me to dance you might have to wait about four weeks mm -hmm. <laughs> at least that long <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also, real quickly, I, you know, as far as the perm going all the way back to when we first started talking about this about a permanent thing, you know, a piece of sculpture or whatever permanent for the COVID thing, I'd, I'd still love to have some uh, future discussion about that. I think what, mm -hmm. not only is it unprecedented, but we're also having a lot of statues from the past that we're we're doing away with or taking down you know, trying to, and this is an excellent i think thing to replace something like that with or to move forward with uh you know a public art piece that that's that's hopeful that's positive that comes from a very awful time um so i'd like to just personally for us to at some point discuss something like that yeah okay sounds good Um, are we ready to adjourn the meeting? Can we do that on that note? Mm -hmm. Kelly, did we cover everything we needed to cover? Yes. And David's going to kind of email me. <laughs> You're going to email me. I am. I'm going to email you as best I can, you know, as succinctly as I can. I mean, this, this idea. And Miss Waples, was she supposed to be here today? You said, but she just didn't. She expressed interest. Maybe, maybe she just wanted to watch the meeting. Um, I, 
I, I never heard back from her. I sent her the link. Um, maybe she had something else going on right now, but. Um, yeah, publicly, she, I, I just, uh, you know, hey, she had some problems with our, I think, our voting uh, process in the bus shelter situation. So. Oh, did you hear from her? I did not hear from her personally, but she had posted some things that I think I passed on mm -hmm. to you or several of you that I could. So I was anxious to hear how that was resolved or if we. No, I didn't hear from. Any comment. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to? Do you want to pass? Could you send that to me? I'm not sure what. She... I will. I'll see if I can find it. I think Elizabeth, did I send it your way? I can't you, remember. I think you and you and I sent it to each other. I, I think. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll right. try and find it. And and I'll send it to Kelly. I, I will. I'll find it, Kelly, and, and get it to you. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to adjourn the meeting and um, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for being here. And uh, maybe the July meeting will be in person. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, we'll, uh, Kelly I'll, may let you... I'll work on that. Okay. Be what we <laughs> all right. Be well, everybody. Stay safe. All right. Bye. 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 Bye